Hello and uh, welcome to this Architree tutorial. My name is Radu and uh, I will uh, present you our latest uh, sofa set which you can find on our website on architree.com under furniture sofas and it is uh, Archi so it's called Archi Sofa Set 07. Um, the special thing about this uh, sofa is that it is detailed and it lets you customize your own sofa like uh, the shape of it, the details of the pillows, of blanket and so on. So I have here um, an, a blank project open uh, with two views. One is a plan view here and uh, the other one is a 3D view. Uh, I'll keep the 3D view in uh, medium detail level and the plan view in coarse detail level. I can turn on the shadows also. And here on the side I have a small uh, window uh, open where I have all the, um, the families of my, of my sofa set. So to load them I will uh, start drag and dropping them into the plan view for example. I should find it here in the 3D view, yeah it's here. Uh, we can do the same drag and drop it also in the 3D view. Now you can see how uh, in the plan view being in a uh, coarse detail level, uh, the shape of the of the sofa is very rectangular. Here, in the three D view, being in medium detail level, the the shape is more detailed. So, if we switch to coarse, we can see the rectangle shape, and if we switch to fine, we also can see pillows. I will leave it on the medium detail level. And I will start uh, building a sofa. Uh, this is the chase lounge and we have to add now to go further we have to add uh, the middle part like one, two. You can see how good this snaps all the pieces snap uh, together really well. Uh, now we take the corner part, we drag and drop it again, put it here, you can see here the results in the 3D view. Um, now again we will make, we we'll hit create similar, push the space bar to turn it around, here we, we can align it like with a line and create one more and now I should load the end part okay this would be our sofa we could also load in the poof put it here maybe and we could also go to modify and uh, here we have match type properties and click once on this one and to make for example this one the same now it looks like this but um, yeah, we we will we won't leave it like this. So I will hit undo. That's Control Z on the keyboard. Now we can uh, turn on the fine detail level. I'll turn off the shadows, um, and we can do this also in plan view to better see how what our final result look li looks like. Uh, now all these repetitive pillows here they, they don't look really good so uh, we could do for example for this this one we could turn off the pillow by 
unchecking uh, this this pillow in the instance properties and for example this one we could uh, simply mirror it by uh, picking mirror unchecking copy and looking for the middle axis we could do the same maybe also with with uh, this one uncheck the pillow and here for example we could uncheck both pillows yeah but we don't want this so I will undo again now a cool thing about another cool thing about these uh, families is that uh, they can have their height adjust their sitting height so this is a type uh, parameter so we have to edit the type and we have here the offset for each feet each of the feet and uh, here we have the seat height so we could I don't know I will type in like 500 this is in millimeters so I will type in 500 so we'll better see the result so you see how yeah maybe a little bit more 600 although it's exaggerated it's easier to see what is happening so you see how the feet got higher and the pillows and everything went went with it now you to make the entire couch have the same height you have to uh, edit each type so put in 600 in each of the family okay this is it I will leave the armchair and the poof the same way and now I will switch to realistic view style in the 3D view and also turn on the shadows uh, although it will be reacting pretty badly also with the shutter stone turn on but uh, we want to talk about uh, the materials right now and uh, let's say we want to change the material for this entire sofa this is really easy to do because we select one of the elements go to edit type and here we have the materials so we have main fabric which is this material shouldn't be changed none of these materials should be changed only modified uh, so we access this material and I have here a window open on my on my second screen uh, with the textures that come along with uh, with this download uh, so I will go to appearance and so I will modify this material this main fabric Archisofa 07 main fabric material and I will make it uh, I don't know like this maybe or maybe make it white actually yeah let's make it white click on apply okay okay so you can see how the entire sofa has changed its material only with that texture um, now we have these stripes and we want to change them also so it's the same principle you go to edit type find the stripes and go to appearance select again this um, this tab and now drag and drop the new uh, bitmap onto the image in the appearance tab click on OK OK and you can see how the entire sofa now has brown stripes
while the materials for the armchair and uh, the poof which usually are independent from the sofa uh, have they have also independent materials uh, but let's say we want to change the material for this pillow uh, this material we add it the same way from the same spot but the pillow has the, uh, has the name Archi Sofa 07 Chase Lounge pillow so it's it's re it's referring all only to the material of the Chase Lounge so we can edit it by dragging this bitmap on it hitting OK and you'll see that only this family was affected this way you can further cost customize your uh, your couch now uh, another very important thing is that you can see here um, it's not it's not working very smoothly because I'm also in a realistic view style and in the detailed uh, in the fine detail level so especially when I rotate the view it kind of gets stuck a little what happens if I move to uh, if I switch to the coarse detail level okay so I will have uh, both in uh, both views in uh, coarse detail level and now I uh, actually I will maximize this uh, 3d view and I will copy this okay constraint multiple and I will copy it several times okay maybe like this select all of them and copy them again like this okay uh, now let's see we have here 1400 furniture pieces and let's see how it is behaving so this is pretty well I'm turning around and I'm in realistic view with with shadows turned on so if I turn the shadows off sorry and I go to hidden line I will try and copy these once again we'll wait a little so now actually we should have uh, 2080 yeah 2080 furniture pieces and yeah we can turn around this works pretty well actually so this is the advantage of this course course detail uh, geometries and the thing is that when you're presenting your project then you switch to fine so this was uh, our tutorial about this um, Archi sofa set. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yes, please visit our site, like it and follow us on uh, Facebook and uh, on uh, Instagram. Have a good day.